for our activity today. If you have some Play-Doh, that would be great. Go run and get it now real quick. Some Play-Doh or maybe Mama can make you some dough or something really good with real quick with flour and water, something like that for our activity today. So go ahead and pause it if you need to while you go get that and then we'll get started. Okay, we have a plan today. This says plan. Number one, our plan is to make a log with this Play-Doh. So come and help me make a log, guys. Which color do you want? I want this one. <laughs> You'll take that one? Okay, here we go. You can use whatever color you want. This is brand new Play-Doh, so we have to take the lids off. Okay, here we go. All right, now, what was it? A log. log. Okay, do you see my log here? That's the best I could do. All right, so I'm going to make a log. Don't look at my log. I don't <laughs> want it to look the same as yours. Okay, a log. A log is like when you have a tree and you just take like the trunk part and you take all the branches off. Sometimes you might, when you're maybe camping or you're out hiking, you might see some logs along your path. What does that log look like? Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Now I want to see your log. Here's Miss Natalie's log and here's my log. Tell me some differences. Well, let's see, the color is different, right? One of them is bigger than the other log. So one is maybe a little bit fatter than the other. It's longer for sure, look. See, they're not exactly the same, are they? Because I made one and Miss Natalie made one and they're not exactly the same. Okay, what's next on this plan? The next plan, it says number two, a ball. We're supposed to make a ball. Okay, let's make a ball. Okay, here we go. Round and round and round she goes. Can you do that? Like this, really quick. Make it really round like a ball. Not a log, a ball. Ball is round, right? Because it can roll. See, my ball can roll. Can your ball roll? What things are you allowed to throw? Are you allowed to throw your toys? No, I'm not. But you can throw a ball, right? Throw a ball? It's a better outside toy than inside toy. There we go. Okay, Miss Natalie, let me see yours. Oh, let's see. What are the differences this time? <gasps> this one's blue and this one is orange. That's different, right? This one is bigger and this one is smaller. This one has a few cracks in it, and this one does too, but not in the same spots. They are different, right? So Miss Natalie made this one, and I made this one, and we didn't make them exactly the same. Okay, what's next on our plan? This plan says number three, cookie cutter. Oh, I forgot to tell you, do you have any cookie cutters? Well, if you do, this is the time to use them, okay. What are you going to choose? This one. You want to choose this one. I like this one. Okay. If you have a rolling pin, you can roll it. Right? Is that what mom does when she makes cookies and uses a cookie cutter? Well, I'm just going to do it with my hands today. I can make it flat enough. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take this one. Can you tell me what that is? Let's see if you can tell once I make it. Ta-da, isn't that fun? There's a hole in it so I can go like that and take it right out. Might be a little bit hard for you to recognize this, but this is the trunk of an elephant. You're right, I have a blue elephant. I'm gonna make an eyeball there. See that? I have a blue elephant. What do you have? I have a turtle. <laughs> oh, Miss Natalie made an orange turtle. Now, do those look the same? They do not look the same, do they? They're different colors. 
They're different animals. They're different shapes, right? We could have used the same cookie cutter, but it still might not have been perfectly the same. So, Miss Natalie made the turtle. I made the elephant, and they're different. Just like God made each one of you, but he made us all different. None of us are exactly the same. Okay, we're ready to work on our verse. I hope you worked on it last week. Are your hands free? Here we go. I am convinced that nothing can separate us from God's love. Let's work on just that part for a moment. I am convinced that nothing can separate us from God's love. Okay, now we'll go a little further. I am convinced that nothing can separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today or our worries about tomorrow. Okay, let's do just that part. Neither death nor life, remember? Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons. Let's do that part. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today or our worries about tomorrow. Let's just do that part. Here we go. Neither death nor life, neither angels or demons, neither our fears for today or our worries about tomorrow. Okay, let's go all the way that far now. Wait, where is it found? Romans 8, 38. Where is it? Romans 8, 38. Okay, let's go all the way up to there this time. I am convinced that nothing can separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow. And the last part is, not even the power of hell can separate us from God's love. Where's it found? Romans 8, 38. All right, hope you get it for next week. All right, our story comes straight from the Bible. And this story is about a man named Abraham. Now, Abraham, he was getting a little bit older. And let's say this is his walking stick, okay? He was told by God, I want you to move to a land that you know nothing about. What? That's a little bit hard to do, right? If you think that you've got to move somewhere, usually you know where you're moving to, right? But Abraham didn't. He didn't know where God was leading him. He just knew that he needed to obey. So he got his family ready and said, we're gonna move. We gotta move to a faraway land. We don't even know where we're going. So they started packing up their things. Get your bags ready. We're going on a long journey, long journey. So they packed up their bags. There we go, I hope we have everything. So they packed up their things and put them on a donkey and they carried some of it. And off they went with all their animals. So it was a lot, a lot of people and a lot of animals and off they went. It was a long journey, but Abraham knew that God had a plan for him. Do you know that God has a plan for you? Sometimes we don't even understand it, but God has a plan for each one of us. And he had a plan for Abraham too. And he walked and he walked 
and it was a long, long way, and he got tired and hot, but he still kept walking because he knew that God had a plan for him and for his family, so he chose to obey. Do you choose to obey God even when you don't understand it? Well, Abraham did, and he walked, and he walked, and he walked, and he was finding what God's plan was for him. Now, finally he got to the land of Canaan, and he looked out, it was a big land, and there was lots of great things there. And God said, you will have a big, big family. You will have as many children as the stars up in the sky. There'll be so many you can't even count. Now these you can count, but God said his family will be as many as the stars in the sky. When you look up in the sky and you see the stars and you start counting, can you count all of them on a nice clear day? I bet you can't count them all, can you? Well, Abraham at this time, he didn't have a big family at all. He had to chose to believe God's promise because God's promises always come true. God had a plan for Abraham and God has a plan for you. You know what? If you love God, you don't know where God might bring you, whether it's a certain place or, or he has different things planned for you each day. Sometimes it's not a place where you think. Sometimes it's something different than what you think, but God has a plan for you. Will you accept it and go with God's plan? Wow, so God told Abraham that he was gonna go to a land uh, that he didn't know. So he packed up all his things and he went on a long journey. Um, we're gonna make that um, scene. We're gonna make Abraham traveling and looking up at the stars. Remember the stars? Remember what God told Abraham about the stars? That his family was going to be so huge that he wouldn't even be able to count them all. So we're going to make that. So you're going to need black construction paper. And I made this little figure. It looks like a body and a head. So this is going to be my Abraham. I'm going to simply put some glue. Then I'm gonna put Abraham's face, I'm gonna put him smiling and looking up to the stars. And I'm gonna put some stars in the sky. Different kinds of star, these are little foam star stickers back and put them up here and then I have these other little cellophane ones I can put on so that's pretty amazing that God told Abraham to just pack his things and move because God had a special plan for him and like we learned in the story God has a special plan for you too okay.